Floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian, I'm blind, I'm a disaster survivor, and I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Reunification. Sometimes in an emergency, you'll be separated from your family, friends, and trusted team. Reconnecting with them should be a priority when it's safe to do so. Being with people who know you means you'll have the support you need, and it's better for your mental health. Evacuating an area. If you're going to be evacuating an area, contact your group and tell them where you're going, when you expect to arrive, and let them know once you've gotten there safely. Pick a meeting point. Even if you're all leaving together, pick a meeting point. You may expect to stay together, but get separated inadvertently, so determining a meeting place is critical. Practice your route. What happens if your home is rendered unsafe due to an emergency and you have to leave unexpectedly? Try to identify an area near your home that you can use. A neighbor's home, a library, or a community center are possible options. Practice the route from your home in advance so you can identify and mitigate any mobility challenges. Again, your trusted team should know where you may seek refuge. Identify where assistance is needed. You'll also want to identify where assistance or backup might be needed, whether it be for you, your children, people with mobility issues, service animals, or pets. Communication. Communication is key in an emergency, so it's good to identify all of the methods available to you as you go. SMS and data-based calling like Skype, FaceTime, and Google Meet are less likely to experience major interruptions, so try those services first. Landlines and cell phones may be less reliable in an emergency situation. If you are evacuating, leave a note at home advising that you're okay, where you're going, and how you can be reached. This way, you've left notice of your whereabouts should your team fail to reach you by phone. In a disaster, the Red Cross will be there to provide vital assistance. They will help you re-establish contact and reunify with your family or those who are part of your trusted team. You may be asked to fill out paperwork or read information. Advise all support workers of your vision challenges so they can assist you appropriately. What about reunification with animals after an emergency? These important steps can be found in our service animal and pets video later in the series. Watch the complete AMI emergency series at ami.ca on the AMI-TV app or on the AMI YouTube channel.